Guys, before this video starts, there is an illusion, this one, that you're gonna see in the video later. I want you guys to try it. I tried it, it's incredible, it actually works. I was a little skeptical when I did it, but after I did it, my mind was blown. So, enjoy the video, keep an eye out for this illusion, it's coming up real soon, and I'll see you soon. Today I have a cool video for you. It involves this giant crystal ball that I just picked up a couple days ago. And it involves this illusion science kit. It also involves, well, I didn't want to say it, fidget spinners because we're gonna be opening this illusion science kit, going through everything. But in here, I think there are some spinners, not necessarily fidget spinners, but I'm gonna be asking you guys to vote on something because I am making my own custom made incredible science fidget spinner. But since it's an incredible science when it's not just gonna be a regular spinner, it is gonna be epic and cool and fun to play with, fun to look at, not just fun, you know, to spin it. All right guys, before we do all that, let's do the giveaway. First person that can comment the exact time that I say the word laser will win a Stay Incredible Pop Socket and a Stay Incredible Fidget Spinner. All you have to do is be the first person to comment the exact time that I say that word. Now, let's get to the video. Now guys, don't forget, to subscribe to my channel. I am waiting for you to subscribe. I'm trying to reach 1 million subscribers. So if you could subscribe, just click subscribe right now. That would be amazing. You literally would make my day, so I would really appreciate it if you could hit subscribe. Let's do it. Let's get to the video. And believe it or not, it is not a fidget spinner video today. Based on the title, you know, I am gonna be showing you some illusion science Experiments. We're gonna open this up. We're also gonna play around with this giant crystal globe here that I got a couple days ago. Let's get a little closer here. Let's move this table up. And we'll all be good to go. All right, guys, so let's open it up. This kit, by the way, you can get on my site at incrediblescience.com, but let's open it up and see what is inside it and see all the different experiments that we can do with it. All right, some papers some markers, and am I seeing this correctly? What looks like some spinners, guys. Some spinners, yes, we have some spinners here. So let's see what we could do with this. So you get a book here with, oh, cool different illusions and stuff. What do you see? I was focused on it. You see anything? It's supposed to look like it's floating, guys. Does it look like it's floating? Instead of, instead of me having to keep this here for 30 seconds, just pause the video right now and stare at the black dot for 30 seconds, and then look at a blank sheet of paper and the heart should be pink. All right, I'm gonna try this myself with you guys right now. I'm gonna put a good picture on the screen. I want you guys to pause this for 30 seconds when I put the picture on. Pause the screen, there'll be a good picture of it. Stare at the black dot for 30 seconds and then stare at a white piece of paper and you'll see a pink heart appear. It's, it's mind blowing. I'm gonna do it right now. Four. Five, make sure to only stare at the black dot. Seven, and eight, and nine, 30, then look at a white sheet of paper. Oh my gosh, it's amazing, it really is amazing. You see a pink heart with a purple outline. It's unreal, guys, do it, ready? I'm putting it on the screen now. Pause the screen for 30 seconds and do it. Trust me, it's worth it. All right, for this one, guys, which line is longer? A, B, or C, D? Supposedly it's the same. I don't know, I would have to get, like cut it out and measure it. Read this sentence, tell me what you see. If you said a bird in the bush, you are wrong. It's a bird in the, the bush. It says the word the twice. I don't know, let me know if that got you. Next illusion. What do you see in this picture? Do you see a vase? Or do you see two faces staring at each other? Well, they're both, look again. The white, there's a vase. The white part is like a vase, a flower vase. Or if you look at the black, there are two faces staring at each other. Pretty cool, right? You could see both if you take a second. All right, this one's a cool one, guys. Do the line seem straight or curved? It, uh, it definitely seems curved. I had to try this to make sure that it was legit. But really, the lines are straight. Look, when I put something straight against it, you see that the lines are just really straight. It's just a pattern on the lines that's tricking you and making you think that it's curved, but it's really straight lines, cool. This is mind tripping, this is tripping, guys. How many legs does this elephant have? How many legs does this elephant have? I, I can't, I can't get it. 
again, pause the screen if you want to see. It looks like four to me, but every time I focus on one, another one pops up. Which shade of blue is darker? A, that blue, or B, that blue? Answer, as you may be expecting, they're both the same shade of blue. This one has white stripes going through it, this one has black stripes, but the actual blue is the same, it's wild. I guess you could prove it if you cut out the sheet and cut out the blue and put it next to each other. Okay, this one, here's a good one. Besides for the color white, how many colors are in this picture? Besides for the color white, how many colors are in this picture? Answer is, you said four, you say three, you say two, two colors. It's green and red, that's it. Look again, look closer. Just green and red are in here. This is an awesome one. Read out the color, but not the word. On three, see how fast you could do it. This is called the Stroop effect. So this would be green, this would be red. Ready, three, two, again. You read the color, not the words. So this would be green, red, blue, yellow. Three, two, one, go. Are you doing it? Go back and pause the screen if you want the full test for it, but it's mind tripping. Which circle is bigger? Which inner circle is bigger, purple or the yellow? Purple or yellow, which is bigger? Yes, they are the same, guys. It's just the circles around it are making you think that the yellow is bigger, but really? Purple and yellow are the same size. Look at this picture. Look at the white circles that are crossing through. Stare at them. Do you see them flashing black? When you stare at the white circles, it looks like they're flashing at you a little bit. Yes, no, maybe. Let's move on again. Go back, pause the screen if you wanna get the full effect. Which vertical line is bigger? He's just the line in the middle. Is this bigger or is that bigger? Without the arrow part, just the line. Guess what, they're exactly the same length. It's just tricking you because the arrows here are spreading out, making this one look bigger, but they're both the same exact length. Really cool. What do you see in this picture? Some people see an old woman. I see a young lady. I don't see the old woman really. I guess you have to change your perspective a little to see the old, maybe it's upside down? No. Do you see an old woman or a young lady? It'll be interesting to see what you guys see. I think we're nearing the end here and then we're gonna make our spinners. So everything ends up back with spinners, right? One, two, three, four, five. So I want you guys to tell me which one you like best because I will be making a fidget spinner, a Stay Incredible Science fidget spinner limited edition with one of these illusions on it. So I want you guys to comment and let me know which illusion you like the best. All right guys, this is number one. Look at that. Nice. It's like spinning too fast almost. Just slow it down. There we go. That's cool. That is number two, guys. Number two, vote number two if you want this on the back of a fidget spinner. Moving on to number three. That is trippy. Number four, guys. You know what this is gonna be. We need to be like right on top of it. Let's move on. Number five. Yeah, now you see it as it slows down. It's actually cool. But again, unless I'm looking at it through the camera, I can't see it. All right, guys, vote which one you want to see on the back of a fidget spinner. And the one that gets the most votes will be on the back of a fidget spinner. All right, and I'll be letting you guys know when and how to get it. Now, let's take care of this crystal ball. I have a laser, a UV laser right there. Isn't that cool? It's a UV laser. Black light, ultraviolet laser. I'm gonna shine right on here, see what happens. Here's the, the lights on. Can't really see what's going on now with the light on. Let's shut the light and see what this looks like. Pitch black. All right, we have the computer screen on. So guys, let's go, because we need a drop of light. There's my laser and here's the ball. You see anything? It's like changing the color of the laser as I shine it through. I don't know if you guys could see it. 
holding up the crystal. Going through the crystal. And let me know which one was your favorite illusion and which one was your favorite of these spinners because I'm gonna be making a State Incredible Spinner, custom made State Incredible Spinner with one of these illusions on the back of it. I'm leaning towards this one because that would be so cool as it spins. If you wanna see that, if you wanna be able to get your own, give this video a thumbs up. So that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I would greatly appreciate it. I will see you tomorrow. Brand new video, brand new giveaway, 4 p.m. Eastern time. If you didn't win today, don't give up. Brand new chance tomorrow. I will see you then. Stay incredible.